It is allergy season, everyone. And no, not just in real life, mind you, but in a flippin' video game as well. Because we can't escape it. But hay fever is here, and if not treated right, it will unfortunately be here to stay. Sinus suffering and all. So from how it works to how we ditch the itch, let's talk about how we can save ourselves from both clawing our eyes out and tearing off our noses. Let's get to it. And it all begins in lush season here, folks. As come one to two days into the season, meaning yes, hay fever can start as soon as humid season ends, our survivors will react to the arrival of these allergens, and this gross filter will appear all around our screens. The sneezems start early. And they can also end pretty late, too. For you see, hay fever doesn't immediately disappear once temperate season rolls around again, but instead lingers for one last day, kind of just to rub it in. So be prepared. But what does hay fever do, Beard? Well, just imagine how annoying sneezing fits in real life are, and think of it happening in a frickin' video game. Our survivors will frequently sneeze one to two times over and over and over again, unless hay fever is negated in some way, and each sneeze will not only drain three sanity instantly, but also causes us to drop one to five items out of our inventories at random. And yes, it is as annoying as it sounds, and it could be potentially dangerous too. But hay fever also stuns us for a brief time following every sneeze, so that's just going to present even more danger. And if you think the interiors of Hamlet are going to protect you, be it a store, or even the ancient pig ruins, then you've got another thing coming, unfortunately. It sneezes. It's always going to be sneezes coming. Well, unless you're Wormwood, of course, as our plant-loving friend is actually immune to the effects of hay fever, because, let's face it, playing Hamlet as Wormwood is easy streets. But here's an interesting tidbit. Woody players are also immune to the sneezems, but only while in werebeaver form. That could be useful if abused properly. As for the rest of us, however, we have got work to do in order to survive with our noses still attached to our heads, if you know what I mean. But thankfully, it might not be all that much work at the end of the day. For you see, while remaining mindful of the picos, we can chop down tea trees here for their seed pods, as raw seed pods stop hay fever for a full minute when consumed but stop to cook these pods, and suddenly we can begin to delay the effects of hay fever by double that time with each bite. It's not the most efficient thing in the world, but it could still help in the long run. Especially when our more quote-unquote permanent solutions come with some downsides, like the gas mask here. Costing four peacock blooms, cloth, and pigskin, the gas mask's main purpose is to protect us from gaseous poison, of course. However, it will still serve as a way for us to prevent hay fever as long as we have it on our faces. That said, it's also going to drain our sanities by 10 per minute while on our faces. So therein lies the downside. So my advice is this. Either brute force your way through that drain, or wait for hay fever to clear away from your screen to unequip the mask for a bit, only to re-equip it when needed. But Beard, how do we get cloth and blooms? Well, the deflated balloon at spawn drops one cloth guaranteed when hammered, so there's that. However, the general store on the spawn island may occasionally sell cloth too, so keep checking each morning. And as for the plumes, you will have to find a peacock somewhere in the world, and wait till it is night to easily sneak up on them to pluck some. That, or you can just run them into a cage for easy feather gatherings whenever you wish, of course. But if we're truly talking quote-unquote permanent solutions to hay fever, then it will be hard to dismiss the oscillating fan here. The alloy should not be hard to obtain, especially for anyone who watched our iron and alloy guides here. However, the gears might cause some issue, but more on that in the bits. For now, know that the oscillating fan has a huge radius when finally placed where you please, and it will negate hay fever in the surrounding area. But the best part is that it's easily refuelable as well, so it can always be at the ready when you need it. But yeah, gears. Gears in Hamlets. What's the deal? 
Well, one could find the stone thing on one of their islands, as it is a guaranteed spawn, however I can't tell you what island it's gonna be on, but typically two bishops and knights guard it. So there's a nice pile of them right there at the end of the day. But most gears will have to be purchased from the Oddities Emporium on the Palace Island. So make note there. Ah, but the creme de la creme of the Hay Fever Destroyers, everyone. Nettles. We can pick nettles, we can dig nettles, but there's a problem with nettles, everyone. You have to get them while they're wet. In short, nettles need almost constant wetness to grow and produce. So if you miss the window of opportunity to get them and don't have a sprinkler, you're kinda screwed. But what is that window of opportunity? Well, almost all of humid season, actually, so be aware of that. Also be mindful of the fact that all deep rainforests have nettle vines to offer us, with the forests of the Pugilisk Island here being the only one with naturally generated groups of the stuff. So be sure to venture through the pig ruins with an egg on top of them to get there if you can. But here's why nettles are so gosh darn good and important. They don't spoil. While still edible, yes, raw nettles can't spoil. Therefore, we can save as many as we can for lush season without worry. Plus, raw nettles also delay hay fever by just over three minutes themselves. But toss three of them together with but a twig and a crock pot, and nettle rolls will be yours. Not only are they a great food in general, sitting at 25 hunger, 5 sanity, and 20 health restored, but they will negate the effects of hay fever for 12 minutes each munch. And that is just shy of two full days, mind you. And let's remember now, this is Hamlet's. Hamlet seasons barely last 10 to 11 days anyways. Good stuff. But to wrap up the day, here are two final notes. While totally not worth it just for this, the living artifact can indeed stop hay fever for three minutes. So there's that, I suppose. And finally, once again, you Wigford players will get the unfortunate short end of the stick in Hamlet, as since Wigford cannot eat seed pods or nettles, her only two options are the gas mask or oscillating fan. That's it. Good luck. And there you have it, everyone. A guide on the schneezums, what the schneezums do, and how to ultimately stop the schneezums before they actually come out of your frickin' nose. Your sinuses may be clear now, but that doesn't actually mean your suffering is. For you see, when next slush season hits, it's gonna bring a one-two punch in the form of the schneezums and the apocalypse. Have fun! Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. I chew no more. And I'll see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.